pulling out of the driveway, Mr. Walsh. Head south on Lee Road 379. We are. Lee Road 379. Eight and a half hour drive to get to the world class fishery, Sabine River. We are going to be practicing right on Memorial Day, which is not ideal. And we're going to be fishing on a place where There's a slowdown you pray for two pounders, which is also not ideal. But hey, we made the best of it. That's all we can do. You know, the, being a professional fisherman, it's not about planning. It's not about, you know, you know everything's going to be smooth. It's about adjusting and rolling with the punches. So, we got a lot of, you know, bad things coming this week, but you just kind of roll with it, make the best of it, you know? Somebody's gonna win this tournament. Somebody's gonna win 100 grand. It doesn't matter if it takes 44 pounds or if it takes 104 pounds. None of that matters. All that matters is, is that we have the most at the end of the week. On Lee Road 372 for Look, one first and stop miles. is for hunters, hunters confirmed, first stop is, stop is Bucky's. There's a new one in Auburn that I haven't been to. Hmm. Are you a Bucky connoisseur? Yes. Tell me how excited you are to be at Lucky's. Not. You're not? Mm -mm. I don't care about it. I go to any gas station. They all got gas. They all got drinks. I don't, I don't really care. I yeah, think. But, yeah, but this is our local hometown Bucky's. I have not been here yet. So, how long has it been here? Like, uh -uh. like a month. A couple months. Well, that shows how excited I am because I have not been here yet. But, uh, I mean, it's nice. It's definitely Howdy, the most happening gas station. I just ain't all. Oh, this is not a gas station. It ain't this all is all Bucky's. Okay. Let's see, the Bucky's. Attitude. Yeah. Why I give you attitude? It's two eighty six. It's actually cheap. I guess that's the draw. Come in for cheap gas and go buy a bunch of other stuff in there. I'm with it. I go buy a bunch of other stuff in there. A lot of people walk around with, like plates. I wonder. I guess they got real food in there. We'll see. Subscribe to your channel. Thank you. Kyle. Yep. What are you most excited for for this road trip? Um, I'm trying to get there and fish. I like the way that the river actually fishes. Even though you don't catch many, you don't catch many big ones. I like the way it fishes, so I'm just excited to get there. We didn't film any more in Bucky's because I literally thought it was a zombie apocalypse happening in there. Like, it was crazy. People was grabbing stuff. I literally had to fight over the last thing of pecans. <laughs> I literally did, old lady. It was, I mean, it was pretty packed. I, I'm impressed. Bucky's is uh, making some money. So, you gonna buy one? I can't afford one. Is, I can't <laughs> afford a hundred gas pumps. Them suckers, like those gas pumps forever. You pull into a gas pump, fill up, you run out of gas before you get down to the end and turn around. That's how big them daggum gas pumps were. They're making some money at the old Bucky's though. That's why they're popping up everywhere. And they keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger because they're making millions, probably millions of dollars a month. Sponsor us, Bucky's. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bucky's, hook it up. I'll stop at everyone we pass and get pecans. I'd rather be fishing there than the Sabine, though. <laughs> Go ahead and tell you. At least Mississippi River's got some big ones in it. You don't catch as many, but you catch good ones. Are you scared of this bridge? No. The best thing about this bridge is we're too high for the Asian carp to jump. Because they in that little river down there. When you let Hunter pick the restaurant, you end up parking the boat in the middle of downtown just because something's got pink lights on it.
What? I don't know, I ain't got no food yet. It seems cool. Let me know if it's good or not. What do you rate it out of 10? The 10 is like a five and three quarter. That looks good. I think he approves. I definitely approve. The, debate, the debatable question. We'll ask it in private. It might be offensive at this restaurant. Very offensive. Oh, Kyle, you're getting on my nerves this morning. Why? What did I do? I just want to look at the beautiful sun. Let's see. Oh gosh, what can we see out here? We can see. This is a beautiful view. Kyle. Look at that rusty <laughs> pencil breaks for lift. <laughs> Look at where we stayed <laughs> last night. There's an Eddie's Express, CVS. I don't know, man. You just kind of kind of get in where you fit in in Lafayette, Louisiana. All right, we're in Orange. Texas right now. That's about all I gotta say. If you're gonna say, don't say nothing. Kyle. What? All right. So, are we in the middle of the season? Yeah, we're in the middle of the season. Okay, we're, give, we're over the halfway point. Give me a rundown of this season and how you feel. I feel okay. I've had some good tournaments. Um. You know, we haven't had a bad one yet. Had some bad days, but uh, haven't had a bad tournament. But we got four more, you know, just got to keep catching them. It's really not about having a great day or a bad day. It's just about consistently doing above average, you know. Then after two or three days, you just climb and climb and climb and climb. So hoping that's the case here. Hopefully we can find an area that has some better quality bass in it. And, you know, just get in there and fish around and catch them. So I'm optimistic about this one. I think it'll be... I think it could be good for the way I like to fish, you know, so just kind of got to wait and fill it out and see. I don't really know what areas are going to play. I think I know what baits you're going to play, but you just never know here. Too many different areas. But on other news, we are parked in the exact same parking spot we were parked in last time when everybody got their stuff stole. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Every truck around us got everything stole. We're at the same parking spot, same hotel, because... There's only like two hotels, and they got stuff stole out of off both of them. So we didn't get our stuff stole because we don't have nice things. We we did not get anything <laughs> stole because we, our truck was old and they didn't want to take ours. So okay, so I have a burning question. Are you ready? Yep. You have to answer truthfully. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? You ready? Okay. So, is it more or less pressure inside your stomach right now because you have made all the cuts than last year or the year before when you hadn't made every cut? And now you're you're starting in the middle of the season. Do you feel more? Feel the same. It feels exactly the same. Exactly the same. Is that weird to you? Yeah. Why? Should I feel more pressure or less? Because you don't have human things going on in your body. I do. Like I have the same amount like I put the pressure on myself. Nobody else puts it on me. Outside circumstances don't put any pressure on you. You put pressure on yourself. I want to do good every single day. So I put as much pressure on me as I possibly can. Every single day. You know, like, I put the pressure on me. And it's the same amount. Like, I try to think about everything. I try to. So, it's no more. It's no less. It's exactly the same. I go into every tournament wanting to do, wanting to win. Wanting to do the best I can. And, you know, which is what I do. But last year, whenever we went up north... Were you going up there to win, or did you want to make the classic? I wanted to win. You wanted to win and make the classic. So you haven't changed your your no. like thought process at all. No. 
I was trying to win every time, everything, every time. Can't tell it by my results, but I do what I think I need to do to win every single tournament. Obviously, that's not correct, but that's what I do. So this place is huge. So basically, are you going to try to practice in all the areas? This is coming out <clears throat> tomorrow. This place is huge as far as how far you can run. It is extremely small as far as how much you can fish. It's probably one of the smallest playing fields we ever go to as far as places that actually have the potential to have bass in it. It's just that every single place is miles and miles and miles apart. This place is not big. There's not bass everywhere. It stretches a long way and there's bass 100 miles that way and 100 miles that way, but there's not many in between. Wow, that's crazy. It's crazy, They're just that's just how it is. They there's just, gotta be bass in between. It's salt water. In between? Yeah. So the salt water mixes with the regular water? No, the salt water out, comes out of the ocean. You go way up the rivers, it gets fresh. When you come down, out of this river, it turns to salt, and then you gotta run through salt to get to another freshwater river. Does that mess up your motor? It can, but no. It don't mess it up if you, I mean, if you if I ran it through salt and then just let it set up, it might mess it up. But if I take it out of here and go put it in fresh water and run it for a little while, it, it cleans it all out. Oh. So it's fine. So what's your plan? Are you going to stick with one arm of it and no. one? I'm going to fish it all. You're going to try to practice it all? Try to practice it all. Every bit of it. Except. I don't say except. I'm going to practice it all. Every single bit of it. This is going to be the busiest next three days. And it's going to be mostly steering wheel time. Running from place to place. In the truck or the boat? Both. Peace out till practice. Peace out. Day one. Tomorrow. Starts tomorrow. Mm-hmm.